this is a very um, serious message. I've told you who I am. I've more than proved I'm Mary Magdalene. If you look at me and see evil, um, your heart is not right. I'm like a mirror. I suggest as it's Lent, you fast and pray. Just cry out to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and and Jacob, the God of, of me, of all of us, and ask him to reveal his son to you and who Mary Magdalene is, who Mark Technique is, and who King Selassie is, and, and you'll see. That's all I can advise. This is Peter Tosh, Johnny Be Good. Um, I met I met him in um, Perth, Western Australia, when I was about 12 or 13. And we managed to get them over. We were runaways. I mean, my friend Carol Smart, she's from um, Burma, and I is my who I support the persecuted Christians. And, um, and, um, I was stopping to fear, and they're using my phone now to be to fear. That's that girl, Kaya, that says she's my daughter. I can tell who it is, and they understand. If I'd known all this all along, how I would have forgiven them. Oh, I pretend to be a psycho killer, but I'm still really calm, as you can see. I was very shaky. I went down to see Bincy. Um, she says I'm not allowed to talk about my grandchildren because I'm putting them at risk from her violent um, ex-husband, um, Yusuf, who's like half Pakistani, but he's blocked from my channel. He can't even see my videos, you understand? And I warned her that he wasn't right. And that she didn't invite me to the wedding. That's Misty, Jasmine and Aurora. Um, I just asked if I can please see them or even speak to them. She said, no, you're a danger to them. Um, you know, I don't trust you with them. When I was on drugs and having one night stands to my shame, um, Sophie, age 17 now, that's really turned against me because of what her mum's lying about me. She was allowed to stay at my flat for the weekend. And now, you know what I mean, Kai really preferred it when I was on drugs and I know why and I know some of you are reading my mind and you know why. It's disgusting and so come on, and please help me. And um, I told you about Orion, Yeshaya, that I have met him in the flesh. He came in his um, Somalian body. I think that's his um, body he was born in. I don't know if it's Somalian. Obviously, he's not Somalian, he's Hebrew. But you know how those dark Somalians, they have what looks like eyeliner? And I just really like those eyes. I just think they're so beautiful. He said, I've got the most beautiful eyes. And you know what your eyes are, the wind they see in the flesh, your soul. You understand? So we do, we have them um, kind of cons as human beings, you know? This is a normal husband and wife, you know? He was so sweet. And then and I believed in Rastafari as Christ in his kingly character, like King Slath, as I said. Um, he's just a mortal man. I too was born as a mortal woman. I wasn't born to a virgin. My mother's kind of not the right person, but we're all born into people, into families like that, just to give them one last chance. I begged and begged you, Shia, to please give Kai a last chance. I, I've testified, oh, sorry, my disgusting hair, but I'm really getting sweaty. Um, I've testified that um, I'm so sorry everyone's really suffered because of me. No, I'm not allowed to get guilty because it breaks the Ryan's heart. Um, Joshua, and um, yeah, for two years after I was like born, not born again, but starting in the process, um, I, I went back to sleep for two years, I was contemplating suicide because she just manipulated me and made me feel so guilty for being such a bad mum. And obviously, she has a point, you know, you wouldn't like your mum to be on drugs and um, mentally ill. She was always saying to me, oh, you, you mustn't take those drugs, they're not for you, there's nothing wrong with you. I love you, the best mum in the world. I, I forgive you, you should never let anyone say a bad word about me or in front of me, you should tell me that to my face. But you know what these people are like. Like your show said, your worst enemies will be the members of your own household. And all I can do is forgive her, so I begged and begged your show for one last chance. She, and I said, Kai, this is your last chance, it's judgment day, it started. You can see that by testimony, then that's in the Quran, that judgment. So please pray that Bin to understand. She's a lovely woman. And I was actually wrong and she stuck fast to her guns. I was trying to say that the Quran was wrong and that Isa did die on the cross. But then and as uh, um, and I did have a son. I'm not gonna get sidetracked because I have to clean up because the other man's coming today and I can feel the girls doing their witchcraft, you know, which isn't fair. I'm not gonna fight back with witchcraft. All I can say is what is in the Psalms. Let them curse Allah, King Celestia, my father-in-law. Let them curse you, me, because I love you and your son and I'm marrying him. But um, bless me, when you arise, you will despise their image. I think um, so that could mean King Celestia is still underground. He's, he's taken the last bit of the torture for me. I wouldn't have made it if he wasn't there. 
I've done it without permission or Orion left me or Yeshua left me behind accidentally. I'm not sure of that. I think what, what, it's the same as what happened this time. They tricked me into if I was say, stated. I could help save more souls and stop the New World Order setting up black fascism. That they are, they do want black slavery and fascism. It's disgusting. I haven't met one. Now I saw um, Hebrew Harris from Gabriel Christ Church. He's going to get such a good, big reward. And my husband absolutely loves him. And I found Archangel Michael in human form as well. He's not here to rape any women. He's still chaste. Although maybe some of the angels will stay and get married. Who knows? But like it says, um, King Solomon said, there's nothing under the sun. I say having all those wives, having um, slaves down of mine. I can't believe you're the son of, of um, King David. It says King David is through the sun, and he comes from, he, and he comes is through the, with Great Britain. So what is that? He, what, has anyone got anything to say on that? We'll talk about it later. Yeah, it's suspicious. I'm very honest with God. I've got two, two. I just can't help it, and that's what he says. He just wants us to be honest with him, um, and to confess our sins. I've done that all over the internet, you know, and to be a good example to others. That's very, very important to me. Because I, I was, I was made aware. I didn't know I was going to be a leader potentially to lead um, the United Kingdom, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. And uh, I've often testified. I believed in the Irish uprising. I quote um, Lakey and um, Immortal Technique. His song "Sign of the Times" says, "My legions are led by the spirit of Haile Selassie." That is very true. Um, oh, they're really interfering. That must have been important. Oh yeah, so you know Imam Mahdi is the woman I've been given knowledge, as you can see, to, to carry on Selassie I's dream. Yeah, Selassie I took the last of it. He's just coming up now because we all know what happens to him. Killed on the toilet. The Rastafari were wrong. Oh yes, yeah, so, so um, Binti was right and I was right on some things. Yes, I said died on the cross for you. Hell's in his hand for you. I, I died I died um, twice crucified in the astral for you. King Selassie, who you know is the law. I spell A L A, that's the open for Father God. Now he has made a sacrifice to you, Muslim Minas. You know, you believe, don't you? Um, it says that we're in hell and that and, unless the law was otherwise. And if you were released, how many of you would take that chance and stand up against the oppressors and um, you know, feed the orphans? And one thing I loved about Islam is that when we feed the hungry at Ramadan and all the time and we say we don't want any reward from you, we do it for the good of Allah. And then there are some people like me and others among you, we sell ourselves into slavery to sell other souls, and we're very special to, to Allah, you know? Let alone I'm his daughter-in-law, you know, I would have thought I'm a very special person to him. So I'm getting revealed some. So what happens, um, this is just I'm guessing, some of it is direct revelation, some of it is just piece, piecing things together. I'm not like Moses, I haven't fasted 40 days and gone, as you can see, the light's not shining, I'm looking old and bedraggled for a little bit, but not bad for um, 54 years young, I'm getting younger, my skin's getting softer, these Mark of the Beast um, Morgellons chips are coming out, we've collected all the data, recording angels are around you, aren't they, Ms. Lamina, they're among you, um, Christians, people of the book, um, and be kind to strangers, because you never know when you're entertaining an angel. But I never realised that um, Whitepool was an angel. Shamani, Tiawala, Shikani, or Shanti. Yeah, so as you can see, don't be scared to start coming out of the hiding holes. They can't touch me, although obviously you're nowhere near as safe as me. I'm the most important one. I'm not saying that arrogantly, but if something happens to me, you're all going to get hurt. Whereas if something happens to one of you, we're not all going to get hurt. That's just for this moment in time. Other moments in time, it would have been more important that someone else was protected. Like a game of chess, you understand? Yeah. Shut, shut, shut. Oh yeah, so we went to sleep here, so she managed to get two tickets, me and Carol Smart, and then um, we were invited backstage, we met um, we met him in the back, we, he wasn't in the hotel room, but we met him backstage, and I said, please can I touch your dreadlocks, so and we felt the power, the spiritual power. I remember the next day we were crossing the road, and we were crossing without looking, no car can knock us up, we have the spirit of Peter Tosh, and we were right. And then I got confused and thought he was in hell. But that was right, because obviously, like like um, the Quran says, all believers will touch it. You know, so this just proves that King Selassie was right. He wanted to knew. Oh, and some of the, some of the, I'm just thinking back to some of the people. There was a guy who was the first um, 
He said a really nice comment, like, may God bless you. I said, you wouldn't say that if you knew who I was. I think if, if you knew if you knew who I was now, he would he would be saying that. Another one that introduced me to the Midnight Music, the musicians, bands that I love. And um, most important at all, I think he was called The Heights. He's the one that gave me that link to Jar Truth Network, where it says about my spaceship. I told the psychiatrist about 15, 20 years ago that I have a spaceship. And Kai, that was when Kai used to come to my appointments with me. And she was just laughing, but she wasn't being mean about it, you know. And, um, and it turns out I do. So Ryan's searching for that because it's in disguise, you know. And like, I used to, <laughs> I used to chat, chat to the um, parking guy, you know, and say, oh, have you seen my spaceship? I can't find it. I wonder how long it's going to park, how much the parking ticket's going to be because I've got no idea where I had it from. And then the poem that I wrote, um, I'm living in hell, but heaven's my home. Sell this ship and come after to take when he fell. That's the mortal technique. Um, I shouldn't have come, I'm too young and green. Um, can't worry about that now, what was done is done. And I remember one of the Mortal Techniques fans said, um, keep standing up, girl, others will stand up with you. So I hope you're a prophet. We all have a prophecy. Um, one of the, I must go, you're right, Orion, um, you're sure I have to clean up. But just one, we, we're all prophets. Um, everything in the world that is in the Bible is prophesied. If you keep saying that over yourself enough times, your inner soul man, he's made up, or woman, he's made up of words. And you have to chew on those words, you understand, and, really get, and they will grow your man. Your spirit man needs the words of God, the music, and the word, like your body needs um, physical food. Okay, bye for now.